बाबा जी जी माय सेकंड क्वेश्चन वाज एंड इज कैन वी चेंज आवर डेस्टिनी विद आवर कर्मास और विद विद द रेमेडीज व्हिच वी डू कैन वी चेंज आवर फेट विद दैट yeah so this is a most frequently asked question <laughs> yeah i know yeah so the thing is uh, there are three kinds of karma okay yeah so before understanding can we change karma or not we have to first understand what is karma first yeah. of all, okay? yeah. so karma has three i mean you can broadly categorize it in three parts one is your prarabdha karma which is the karma for this life okay yeah. then there is uh, kriya mana karma okay kriya mana karma means the karma which you have done from the time you were born <laughs> right okay and then there is sanchit karma sanchit karma is like the total karma of all of your lifetimes okay. yeah. from the time you are in this material world from yeah. that time till now yeah Okay, till your this life started, till that time, all it's the sum total of all the actions. Okay, yeah. so now, how do we know what? How do we analyze these? Okay, using astrology. Okay, now I will talk of Sanchit Karma later, but I will talk of uh, Kriya Mana Karma first. Okay, okay, Kriya Mana Karma is very essential, and I will talk of Prarabdha also. So Prarabdha Karma is your horoscope okay yeah why we have born yes that is the horoscope now what about kriya mana karma how do you figure out kriya mana karma which very simple whenever a client or anybody is coming to you with a question draw the prashna chart that time in that place where you are situated right okay that will tell you what this person has done from the time he or she was born 20 30 40 years back right and uh, that will tell you how the frequency has changed changed means not that the birth chart has changed but now the good yogas have become better or they have become worse okay or the bad or the difficulties have improved or they have also even worsened okay that's how you know the kriya mana karma okay and ultimately when you give a prediction you must use both of these okay because it's like saying suppose uh, i see somebody's degree certificate somebody did masters in computer science suppose and then this person is coming to me after 10 years with some question then i will ask now what did you do for 10 years yeah because he has definitely done something otherwise what has doing from these 10 years he must have done something right so then he will tell oh this is my resume you know i did job here in this company then i did consulting then i did you know, whatever mba phd whatever so then i know that okay so this is his current state okay which means now he is a he is the sum total of his birth chart and the kriya mana karma okay so now that kind of becomes like his prarabdha because he has used his big, the uh, kriya mana karma the prashna kundli which we make is like uh, expression of the free will expression of the free will okay yeah. so it means suppose uh, in the lagna chart somebody is venus is debilitated suppose okay then Uh, venus debilitated means the person may not be very aware because debilitation can give low awareness and exaltation can give very high awareness so, mm-hmm. so the person may not be aware of how, how should i conduct myself in relationships okay right. now ability of venus does not mean you will have a bad married life yeah yeah and not many people understand that yes yeah what if you are not aware but then by your karma the seventh house is good or the second many, house is strong many, million strong. other factors yeah because because there's also a saying you know that uh, your vibe attracts your tribe <laughs> so now what i mean to say is that the prarabdha which is your birth chart okay that karma that 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 is like a destined karma for this life okay and now where is the prarabdha karma people ask 
Pranatma karma is not anywhere. The body itself is the pranatma. Pranatma, yeah. Okay. And there, there are many satsandarvas and one of the great sages, you know, Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami, the Gaudiya Sampradaya, they also mention this, that prarabdha karma cannot be changed. Why do they say this? Because if somebody is claiming that I have changed my prarabdha, it means the, bo the body has been dismantled. That means the person is dead. Yeah. Okay. So the prarabdha cannot be changed, which means suppose uh, it is destined that somebody comes and uh, gives you 10 rupees. Okay, that you cannot change. That person will come at that time and give you 10 rupees and he will go. Okay. But now the question is, what do you do with that? Yeah. Yes, you can either waste it in wine or cigarette. Yes. Or you can, that's Tamaguna. Rajas means, okay, I will uh, spend it, you know, 10 rupees is very small, maybe you know, 1000 rupees. Oh, I will have a very nice meal in McDonald's, you know, with my girlfriend and we will enjoy, we will go to Goa, you know, we will, uh, we will enjoy, you know, we will go to Paris, that's what Rajas is. Yeah. And then Sattva Guna means, oh, I have got 1000 rupees, how about investing 800 rupees? <laughs> and how about taking 100 rupees for my meal and how about donating 100 rupees? Beautiful, right? So, the karma cannot be changed. So, if somebody is destined to give you 1000 rupees, that, that the person will give you. But now, the question is, what will you do? That, that is under your control. And now, when you talk of remedies, you have to understand what remedies are actually. Actually, the word remedy is very much misrepresented. You know, they say in Hindi, they translate it as upai. Upai, when you think of the word upai, you know, generally when Hindi people say, oh, ye problem ho raha hai, not in astrological context, but in general. Oh, uh, ye problem ho raha hai, iska upai kya hai, right? So basically, upai in astrology also has a very similar connotation. People think upayas are very quick ways to fix problems. Yes, absolutely. So, for example, somebody told me that uh, one astrologer told uh, this person, this man, that uh, you have to, you have some problem in the horoscope. Okay, so don't worry, there is upai. <laughs> okay, what is the upai? You have to go to Banaras on Shani Hora on a Friday at morning or afternoon that time. You have to throw milk in a particular direction. You know, in a particular. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so so now no no disrespect to the astrologer who told like this, but now let us try to analyze this statement. When you tell the person, the first statement is there is a problem in your horoscope. Not in you, huh? You are perfectly fine. You you are like God. There is no problem with you. You can never be wrong. You are the best person who has ever born till now. But where is the problem? In your horoscope. Ah, in your horoscope there is problem. In you there is no problem. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so the moment you say there is a problem in your horoscope, you start playing the victim card. You feel, "Arey, maine kya kiya? Mere kundli mein problem." Yeah. It's why? a very common problem. Why me? In yeah. fact, I will not name a very famous astrology app which I also have installed in my mobile. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Okay. Yeah, it's a very, very, very famous app. Maybe one of the most famous applications. And I, I don't know if that person watches this video. <laughs> In oh, fact, no. he should watch it. He or she. What happens when I use that app? Suddenly, someday a message will pop up. And what is that message? Is Shani creating trouble for you? Yeah. Yes. Nobody knows which app I am talking about. Okay. <laughs> If a person who does who is new in astrology, suppose, and he comes and sees this message, oh my God, Shani is creating trouble for me. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. is Shani ka? Millions of miles he's sitting. Why is he doing this to me? Why not to my friend? <laughs> what wrong did I do that he's doing this to me? Okay, so the first statement which we have to correct is there's no problem in your horoscope. Where is the problem? Then the problem is inside of us. Yeah, people should listen to this now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, because the planets don't give events, they reflect events. Yes. Planets are like the resume, you know, in your resume, you have got 90% marks. So now if you don't get a job, you cannot say, oh, actually, you know, I am perfect. But the only problem is in my resume, it's 90%. You know, if only it was 95, I would have got admission. It's so foolish to say like that. Nobody will buy you if you say like this, right? Buy your idea. But whenever it comes to astrology, we always use this word. No, I am fine. There's no problem with me. But my kundli is bad. Yeah. Actually, no kundli is bad. No kundli is good. It is the problem is inside of us. Okay. So now when you tell this person that, okay, you have a problem in your kundli. Okay. So then what happens? The person stops taking responsibility. Because he feels, oh, it's not my problem, you see. It's a kundli ka problem, mera thori problem. Okay. Yeah. Then what happens? Then you tell, okay, there is a quick fix now. You go to Haridwar, go to Rishikesh, you know, you take some milk and you throw it like this. Okay. Now let us imagine that that is a true or correct or bona fide remedy. That's a separate topic. Okay. But the question is, is it benefiting the person? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Maybe it's doing the opposite because now what happens for every problem he will start finding quick fixes, right? Yeah. And then nothing is happening to him at the end. He is at the same place. And now he knows if I do anything wrong, anything bad, what I can do? Quick fix. Oh, goodbye. Go to Banaras, throw it. Go to Haridwar, throw it. <laughs> take a holy dip. Or take a holy dip. <laughs> yes, Ganga Snan, you know. <laughs> yes. So, Beautiful. Yeah, so when we do remedies in this attitude, yes. Quick, quick fix. Then actually we are, uh, I, I don't know the opposite of fix, you know, we are actually breaking ourselves because we are not taking responsibility. So for example, Saturn, what Saturn is? Saturn is our discipline, our structure, our commitment, our ability to work hard. That's what Saturn is. So do you think that by going to some place and throwing something will make you more disciplined? Now, ha, ah, yes. If you tell that I will get up in the morning, I will have a schedule and then you do that remedy. Yeah, it got, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Make more sense. Then, then, even if that remedy is bona fide or not, it will still affect you. Mm. Because yeah. you have changed, you have addressed the problem which is inside you. Okay. Mm. Now, this is another uh, side where you might become atheistic if you do this. Which means you may say, oh, that means there's no need of doing any mantras or any remedies. You know, just change yourself. This is another fancy, the other extreme of these days. You know, you'll see this in West or Western astrology or in the Western people more. That, oh, no, 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 there's no, all this is all remedies are nonsense. You know, just, just do yourself. You know, you have the power. You can do it. You are the universe. You are this. You are that. You know. Well, that's the other extreme. <laughs> okay. So the best is best of the both. You do the remedies and you also try to change yourself. So for example, uh, you chant mantras. Okay. So now the question is, if the remedies cannot change the prarabdha, okay, then why should we do remedies? Somebody will be thinking. Are, yeah, absolutely. Are, yeah, in the audience, someone going to ask this. Yes. Yeah, time ka barbadi, waste of time, paise ka barbadi, waste of money, waste of my you know, efforts. Everything is a waste. Yes. Why should we do it? Yeah. Well, the million dollar answer is to learn the lessons. Yeah. Okay, so for example, uh, somebody has a problem uh, with Venus. Okay. What is one of the biggest remedies of Venus? One of the biggest remedies of Venus is that we feed cows. Okay. okay. Or, we feed, or we can feed horses. Okay. Or we can also uh, feed swans. Okay. Or ducks also, not swan, sorry, duck. But yeah. now suppose, what is Venus? Venus represents our dealings with the opposite sex in case of marriage or these kind of areas. Suppose we are going and fighting with our wife or husband 24 hours. Yes. And then we go and feed cows. Will it be of any effect? Yeah. No, never. Yeah. So the thing is, we need to do remedies and also do practical lifestyle changes. And by that, when we do mantras, especially for Venus, we can do mantras for Lakshmi. Okay. So when we are doing the remedies, we should pray to that particular Devata or that Vishnu avatar that please tell me what wrong I did 
not that one day uh, god will come in front of you and he will give you a flashback look 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 mr uh, one uh, 123rd lifetime back you uh, bet this person and now this person is beating you no that's not the reason that's not how it is we we should pray that please empower us please give us the knowledge that why why this is happening to me then we will know that we should not behave like that okay because unless we have done something wrong nothing can happen to us no wrong can happen to us okay so that that essentially violates the law of karma when people say well there are many people who say you know oh nature is very cruel yes the world is full of injustice okay well actually at a deeper level uh, if you understand you will know there is no injustice to anybody okay everything is justice served depending on their karma now that does not mean that so oh, anything is happening you say anyways it's your karma na just get lost so that that's that doesn't mean that okay but uh, if you read the ramayana you will understand this perfectly you will understand so when kk tells lord ram because there are many people who will quote destiny okay सर हमारा तो भाग करम फुटे हमारा तो दुर्भाग्य है ये है वो है मैं क्या इसे भी क्या कर सकते कुछ नहीं कर सकते राइट रामायण वॉट है रामायण लॉर्ड राम इज बैनिस्ड फॉर फोर्टीन इयर्स and if you read the ram charit manas or valmiki ramayan as soon as lord ram tells okay now i will depart for the forest then what does lakshman do that time lakshman takes up his you know bow and he says in fact he he say he does not say dashrath is his father <laughs> yeah. he says this old useless king dashrath <laughs> he is simply a handpacked husband whatever his wife dictates he does he does yeah and because his wife has told him now he has thrown you out but let me tell you you are not alone before you go they have to pass through my dead body as in hindi they say na mere shaf ke upar se jana padega i will fight the army of ayodhya alone and i will defeat everybody and even if bharat and satrugan comes i will fight and i will rip them off because i know they are on the side of kk yes i mean they were not but he assumed because he was yeah. kk sir you know and lakshman says even if indra comes today with his dev sena i will fight and i will dethrone him from the heavens and i will, if required i will destroy the entire universe but i will not let this injustice happen to you <laughs> yeah. what does lord ram say lord ram says my dear lakshman calm down destiny is very powerful <laughs> lord ram give a big lecture on destiny 